<laughs> All right, let's talk weather. Today is going to be the day you want to get yes. outside because the rain's coming. I know. Only Fuji I know is Dr. Ted Fujita, <laughs> who we named our tornado scale after. Bring it. That's what came to my head. I'm like, there's Bring no the way that that guy is involved with produce and somehow. <laughs> so we'll leave the produce over there. I'll stick to weather. Good plan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and it's going to get very busy coming up here. I'm gearing up. Anytime you hear the meteorologist say, I'm gearing up, you know, I'm getting the coffee going, we're going to make sure to have a couple of days ready with a lot of coffee, then you know that things are going to start getting active. Rather quiet now, as you can see, looking out across the high country, we're really not seeing too much across Northern California yet, and we really aren't anticipating too much weather activity coming up here. As we take a look out to our temperatures, temperatures pretty much into the 60s, 64 in Sacramento, 73 in the San Joaquin Valley, so those numbers are in the 70s here. For the foothills, we're also in the 70s. Look at this foothills. You guys are really warming up here. 70 in Auburn, 55 in Truckee, 53 in South Lake Tahoe. Winds are just about 5 miles per hour, so pretty light and variable with a lot of these winds. Slice California, what can you expect for the rest of the day today? High temperatures into the mid-70s. We're just about the upper 50s for the Sierra Bay Area coming in in the mid-60s. All right, so we're talking about a lot of moisture coming in here. Look at this. You can see spin of a storm system across. This one's going to make its way toward the Pacific Northwest, but all of this moisture back here across the Pacific, that is making its way to Northern California. You know we call it atmospheric river, one of our favorite or not so favorite terms here in Northern California. It just depends on what it brings us. We like the rain. We don't like the flooding. It can bring both. It's something we will be con continuing to watch for the next few days. Now this right here, this is this flood watch that goes into effect. It's green. It doesn't go into effect until Friday. So we have some time to make some preparations for some localized flooding, of course. Clear out the gutters, any drains nearby, anything that you have some issues when you have a couple of days of rain around the home. Just try to fix that. If not today, you got a window tomorrow morning and then by tomorrow afternoon evening the rain will be pushing in. But notice this goes till Sunday morning. So we are tracking a couple of days of rain, and then also the Truckee area is still making preparations for the Truckee River that might reach flood stage. So that's why that will also go into effect on Friday. Futurecast timing it out for you. What we're watching, storm system continues to push on in here. By Thursday night, I think rain will be pushing into the valley and it will become heavy. Friday into Saturday. Look at how much rain we're talking here. Two to three inches. That's right. Foothills even more. Seven day forecast. We do dry out here by the time we go just about into eh, Sunday and Monday. And then once we hit Tuesday, rain back into the forecast. So we're going to continue to watch rain, 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 dry. Do a little bit of cleanup, <laughs> get ready for the next round of wet weather, and it may not be an atmospheric river, but we are still looking at more rain that might start to push in here by the time we head into Tuesday. But I mean, Sunday and Monday, we're going to dry out. We'll be back into the 70s. It'll be much better. Yeah, it looks good. All right, Lisa, thanks.